hymns in second grade class, Johnny Appleseed. <clears throat> this is the story of John Chapman, a true American hero. You might know him as Johnny Appleseed. Johnny was born in Massachusetts a long time ago. He had ten half-brothers and half-sisters. That's us! When Johnny was a boy, many of his neighbors were moving out west. They were pioneers of the wild frontier. Johnny decided that when he became a man, he would also go out west. He wanted to plant apple seeds everywhere he went. That way the pioneers would have apples to eat at their new home. Johnny left home at age 23. What did he take with him? He took a pot for cooking and a sack of apple seeds. He walked and walked and planted and planted. He walked and walked and planted and planted. Because he had itchy feet. Because he had itchy feet. Now Johnny is 30 years old. He hates to wear shoes and he likes to sleep outdoors. He likes animals as much as he does people. He has been walking west and planting apple orchards for seven years now. Apple juice and apple butter, apple sauce and apple collar. My oh my sweet apple pie, yum! Friends, your family walks into the clearing. Howdy, folks. Come on over and rest in spoon. Paul, that man's wearing a little pot on his head. <coughs> he looks strange, Ma. Don't be scared, people. Call me Johnny Appleseed. <coughs> we heard about you in Pennsylvania, and now you're here in Ohio. It's these itchy feet of mine. I have to keep moving west. <coughs> you put all the way, all the way apple trees we have here along the way. That's hard work. Who paid you? Ha ha ha. Nature does. I plant the orchards before folks move west. So the apples are already grown when they arrive. The apples the nature is giving. I just pass it along. Pa says we're going to build a cabin and live there. Where is your cabin, Johnny? Ha ha. All around you, the earth is my floor and the sky is my roof. The sun is in wind and rain are my friends. The stew pot keeps my head dry, and wherever I go, I have all I need. Don't you get cold? Don't you get scared? Don't you get lonely? Yes, yes, and yes. That's part of living outdoors, but I make friends wherever I go. My Indian friends have taught me how to survive in the outdoors. Young wolf and ten horses. Do you know young wolf and ten horses? Hello, tree planter. Who are these strangers? Meet my new friends. They came by wagon all the way from New England. They want to build a cabin here. They are good folks and good neighbors. Johnny's right. He probably speaks English. Tree planters always speak the truth. Welcome, friends. Yay. Yay. Yay! Be careful of the she there, tree planter. Young wolf <coughs>
did you walk? John, been thousands of miles. How long did it take? It took almost 50 years. How many, many trees, trees did you plant? Too many to count. Who eats all the apples? The good folks from New Out West looking for a better life. Do you still, still have itchy feet? Haha, <laughs> 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 I was born with itchy feet. Got to keep on going. That's what I always say. This great new country needs lots of apples. They help us grow strong and help. Bites into an apple slowly begins to walk away. I do it. Okay. Goodbye, Johnny Appleseed. Apple May you always be blessed with apples. Thank you, Johnny Appleseed. Be careful of the bears. Johnny walks away, waves and goodbye and walks out of sight. John Chapman died when he was 71 years old. We will never forget this pioneer and American hero. Apples, see Johnny, Johnny Appleseed. John Chapman was his real name. The wild frontier helped to tame. He planted apple seeds which grew into trees. This way is history and everyone shall clap please.